Hello everybody, welcome to Prolines, deliciousness from the world of art. The protagonist of this episode is Fausta Squatriti, born in Milan in 1941. Her father is an engineer. Her mother is a gifted poet whose books of poems are published by Arturo Schwarz and illustrated by Enrico Bai and Lucio Fontana. This close connection to the art world can be considered part of her family's legacy. In 1953, after visiting an exhibition of Picasso's works, Fausta Squatriti declares, I will be a Cubist painter. At the Prada Academy, the encounter with the art critic Guido Ballo plays a crucial role in her artistic pursuits. Then, Fausta Squatriti decides to write a thesis on the method of composition of Paul Clay. She initially channels her creative energy towards Art Informel, the then dominant art movement. Afterwards, during the painting sessions devoted to still lives, she focuses on the forms of a colorful cloth, which sparks her interest in executing a series of abstract works. Furthermore, she has cleaner inspiration from some paintings of Cepolo. She reduces Cepolo's human figures to a flat appearance, paints them in diverse colors, then fits them together as in a jigsaw puzzle. Whereas Fausta Squatriti's informed on paintings emphasize the psychological undertones, her later works highlight her meditation on the vision of space manifested in a cheerful and ironic tone. She then cuts out the sum of these colorful pieces and let them float in a black container like in a sort of puppet show. In so doing, she discovers the three-dimensionality of objects, which is fundamental for her passion to work on enameled metal sculptures. Chilo Dorfler has defined these sculptures, these quieting objects, but nowadays they seem to showcase, even though at first they intend to undermine the idea of balance, the playful mindset that anticipated the mainstream culture of the 80s. Yet, her art has undergone a radical transformation. Terrorism has destroyed the light-hearted spirit characterizing the 60s and brought with it deep melancholy. The artist thus decides to embark on a new way of making art. She commits herself to exploring the principles of geometry in order to achieve not only an aesthetically satisfying object, but above all, a coveted result. The black color finally predominates in her work she further concentrates essentially on the development of the surface of a square. She cuts it in pieces and recomposes it with infinite variations. Fausta Squatriti seems to work out its own true physiology. What's more, she also wants to represent the void generated by the variations and re-elaborate them in order to obtain some primary volumes such as the cube, of the cross. As a result, her work of art consists of two parts. One part features the variations arranged on the surface of the work and the other part a sculpture. Notably, Fausta Squatriti begins to show interest in incorporating photographs in her work. She consequently attains the tripartite model of representation, which from now on will constitute her stylistic trademark. Fausta Squatriti's production by printing side by side a photograph, a geometric painting, and a three-dimensional work assumes the aspect of a narrative rebus whose meaning is hard to get at without the ready key provided by the artist herself. To be clearer, the art world has previously seen a tripartite work titled One and Three Chairs, realized by Joseph Kossuth. This masterpiece features a physical chair, a photograph of that chair, and the dictionary definition of the word chair. What stands out in Fausta Squatriti's work is the fact that the solution to the rebus can be found at an emotional level or much better at the level of their psychology. Her artistic research enhances her initially to reflect on the importance of the decorative motifs embedded in the symbolic communication of different religions and cultures. Then, she proceeds to delve into all aspects of human experience, above all, into the 
pain and violence mankind untidily inflict among themselves. Over the last few years, the artist has transformed her sculpture into a wall hanging box containing industrial waste or organic materials such as roots, brushwood, bunches of dry flowers submerged in gypsum that seems to imprison and contemporarily conserve them to express once again human sufferings. In Fausta Squatriti's world, the three proposed images possess the same expressive value, though each is assigned with a different function. The photographic image represents the sphere of reality, the geometric painting, the sphere of symbols, and the three-dimensional work, the sphere of allegory, the one that epitomizes and encapsulates all the meanings possibly derived from the just position of the first two images. Fausta Squatriti, though coming from a colorful world, has conceived a way of making art that necessitates a greater participation from the viewer. As if she wants to affirm that the truth does exist, but it can't be revealed to a superficial eye. It needs to be discovered in a deeper dimension of our being. I stop here. Thank you for listening. Don't miss the next episode of Pralines, Deliciousness from the World of Art.